What's up YouTube? Today I'm watching an SML movie, Brooklyn Guy's Ear Problem. Let's just get on getting into it, shall we? <laughs> come on, come on! I don't care about Vincent Van Gogh's ear. Hurry up and go to the next one. Boy, hey, what you uh, doing? This still gotta look good from I'm watching this online ear Makeover auction. Video. I'm trying to buy a Vander Holyfield ear that the Mike Tyson bit off. Ew, buddy, that's Ew, disgusting. Why? why do you want to buy an ear that someone bit off? Because nobody else has it, and I want it. Shh, it's coming up. All right, for our next item up to auction, we have Evander Holyfield's Ooh. right ear that was bitten off by dirty? Mike Tyson. And to verify the authenticity of said ear, we have the Mr. Evander Holyfield. Ooh. So, Mr. Holyfield, oh, this going. is He's your ear. ear, correct? Oh, oh what's that? This ear is your ear, correct? Uh, repeat it again. The ear on the table is in fact back. the ear that Mike like, Tyson bit like off of you. Hey, hey, let's switch seats. I can't hear your ass. You know my ear on the table. My apologies, sir. <clears throat> so, Mr. Hollyfield, so you know everyone on wants to know, is this your ear? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my ear right there. And well, why are you already... selling said ear? <laughs> you know the bills do. <laughs> it's the rent. You know, <laughs> I gotta pay it. You heard it here first, folks. Evander Hollyfield needs to pay his rent. So, yep. let's start the bidding at $1,000. Buy here $1,000. A thousand going once, a thousand going twice, nothing. Okay, how about five hundred dollars? Anyone for five hundred dollars? Five hundred is too much. I can get them lower. You in the back, sir? Uh, you're just getting up to use the bathroom. <laughs> Understood. Maybe a hundred dollars. Do I hear a hundred dollars? Oh, I get your earring with it. Come on. A hundred dollars? I'm buying it. A hundred dollars. Uh, I've just been notified that someone from the online auction has bought the ear for one hundred dollars. That's right. Come on, Brooklyn. Mm. Yes, yes, I won. I won the ear. You could have got it for lower, yes. Boyney, what are you gonna do when you get your bitten off the ear? Well, I'm gonna put it in my wallet and carry it around with me wherever I go. And whenever I meet people, I'm gonna say, "Hey, you know that ear Mike Tyson bit off? I have it." And they're gonna say, "No," -uh. and then I'm gonna whip it out and show them, and they're Rip gonna think out. I'm cool. But how are they gonna know it was really his ear? It comes with a certificate of ear authenticity. Well, There's when does what? it get ear? Well, it gets ear tomorrow because they're doing overnight shipping. It's coming from Las Vegas. Oh, let's go to bed. I can't wait to get my my ear. Oh, Karen, I'm so Why excited. So I'm not going to count sheep while I sleep. I'm going to count ears. One <coughs> ear. <coughs> two ears. <coughs> Boyney, I know you're not sleeping. Your eyes are still open. I know. That's how excited I am. Boyney, oh, you want to fool around? Only if I can do it in your ear. Boyney, Ew, what? I know. I'm going to sleep. <coughs> Thanks, you got huh? hair. It's oh, morning, oh. Karen. Boyney, it's too early for this. I'm going to go check early. my package. Oh, I can't wait to see what time my ear gets delivered. Package destroyed? How? What? Destroyed? Boyney, what's wrong? How the heck is I'm on the UPS website and it says my package was destroyed. How does that what? even happen? No, let me check the news. Breaking news, okay. Oh, a Lord. UPS plane has crashed into a children's <laughs> hospital, destroying all the packages and killing hundreds of people. Dang. What? Oh, come on, are you kidding me? I what a can't believe is. my luck. I know, Boyney, it's all. My package is gone. Boyd, this family is suffering out there. I'm care. suffering, Karen. I'm the one whose package got destroyed. Exactly. Oh, my why ear, does eh? God hate me? Why does he make this happen to me? Stop being so selfish, Boyney. Karen, that was Evander Holyfield's only ear that got bitten off. It was irreplaceable. How on oh, earth could this have happened? Okay, stop, Cut stop, it out stop, with stop. the puns, Boyney. It's not a joke. No, I know it's not a joke, Karen. I know people died, but you can always make more kids. You can't make more of Evander Holyfield's ear that got bitten off. Off. You could do that one more time, but I bet he's not gonna do it. That's I don't care if he and Mike Tyson are friends now. He's not gonna let him bite the other one off. Cut it out, Boyney! No, no, I'm gonna go to the hey, office now, and I'm gonna say, how are you gonna make this right? I need you to make Mike Tyson bite the Vander Holyfield's other ear off and spit it out into my hand. That's the only way. Boyney! No, I'm gonna go there and tell him. No, that, no I mean, that's it. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Damn it. Well, in this any case, title. I am the Honorable hey, John Fulbert, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is demanding to get Evander Holyfield's other ear because the one he purchased was destroyed in a plane crash. Brooklyn Guy, explain what's going on. So I purchased Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bid off for $100 in an auction. And I was mm. really excited to finally get the ear so I could show it off to my friends. Don't and then like bam, the plane carrying the ear crashes and the ear gets destroyed. It was one of a kind. So now they owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear and I want Mike no, Tyson to bite it off and spit it into my hand. Get your money back. Mm. 
Very interesting. Mr. Auction House Man, what have you to say about this? Well, it wasn't the auction house's fault that UPS crashed their plane. It should be their job to get him a new holy filled ear. Hmm. Yes, that does make sense that it is UPS's fault reaper? that their plane crashed, so. Brooklyn guy, couldn't you just sue UPS for a hundred dollar refund for the ear? I don't want a refund. I want Evander Holyfield's ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. Why? It was worth way more than a hundred dollars to me. It was priceless. They hey, owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear, and I want you to make Mike Tyson bite it off and spit it into my hand. Well, I don't really have the power to force Mike Tyson to bite Evander Holyfield's other ear off. But I suppose I could give you a 24-hour pass to go bite it off. Wait, me? I could it's bite his other ear off? Yes, you have 24 hours to go bite Evander Holyfield's ear off without it being considered a crime. But after that 24-hour period, oh, it will me, become is... a crime. So you better go bite his ear off. This yeah. is the whole Thank video. you, Your Honor. <laughs> now, where is he? <laughs> Hey, oh, no. I liked it better when you would knock before you came in my house. It's really important this time. Ooh, I really do like your hair, though. Oh, thank you. You look good. Oh, well, I don't feel good. Did you see on the news about the UPS plane that crashed into that children's hospital? I know. That was so sad. Wait, yep. you feel bad because you knew my package was on that plane? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, maybe you should have been more considerate. A lot of people died. Yeah, whatever. But my package was one of a kind. Yeah, whatever. It was irreplaceable. What was your package? Like a kitten or a puppy? No, it was a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. You bought an ear that was bitten off? Yeah, for a hundred bucks. It was a pretty good deal, actually. Oh, okay, so why do you even care if it was only a hundred dollars? Because it's not about oh. the money, Marvin. It's about the ear. And the I judge says, I have 24 hours to legally bite off of Andrew Holyfield's other ear. But won't he need that? Well, he didn't need the other one. He was auctioning it off. This whole situation sounded completely insane and stupid. I know, I but I just came to you to see if you know where Andrew Holyfield is. I I don't know where that guy is. I don't even know what he Ooh, does yeah. now. Oh, all right. Well, maybe you could try calling his agent and asking his agent where he is. Ooh, see, Marvin, this is why I come to you. You have smart ideas. I'm going to go get my phone. Okay, I Googled his agent's phone number and I'm going to call him. Google. Hello, you've reached Steve Staleberger, talent agent. Uh, yes, do you represent Evander Holyfield? I do. Okay, so where is he? Well, I can't disclose that kind of information unless it's for business purposes. Exactly. Oh, it is. He owes me something. Oh, well, what's he owe you? <laughs> Let's just say it's an earful. Well, what is it? In my mouth. What? What? <laughs> I'm going to bite his ear off because the judge said I could. Hello? Hello? Uh, he hung up on me. In my mouth. Well, maybe because the way you approach the situation. That... Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said you were going to bite his ear off. Marvin, could you call him and see if you can find out where he is? <sighs> okay, I'll... I'll just see what I can do. Okay, it's ringing. Hello, you read Steve Staleberger, talent agent. Uh, yes, you represent Evander Holyfield, correct? <sighs> this isn't another prank call about biting his ear off again, is it? We get those all the time. No, 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 this is a business opportunity for Mr. Holyfield. Oh, well, what is it? Well, we have an opportunity for him to go back into boxing. Oh, he loves doing that. Yeah, Mike Tyson wants a rematch. Oh, okay. So where is he so I can talk about this opportunity? He's at the Applebee's right now. Applebee's. Uh, okay, well, then we'll head that way. Okay, I'll let him know you're coming. Thank you. They said he's at Applebee's. Which See, that Applebee's? Was a much better the approach. Applebee's. Oh, the Applebee's, of course. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll dress up like a waiter and then bite his ear off. Hello, welcome to Applebee's. What would you like to drink? Sir? Dang. Sir? You, got oh, oh, you, you were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I could, hey, you know, I'm missing the end. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What, what would you like to drink? Hey there, I'm the district manager for Applebee's. Uh, you can go home. Really? Yeah, you're fired. Oh! Fired? <laughs> Hey there, Mr. Holyfield. Oh, you recognize me? <laughs> oh, you must be a fan of something. Yeah, I'm a big fan. You want an autograph? No, that's okay. No, okay. Oh, well, what can I get you started with? Watch. Maybe an appetizer ear? Oh, uh, uh, what you got, what you got? Uh, maybe, maybe an irresistible? Ooh, um, hmm. I ain't really in the Tex-Mex shrimp. Oh, uh, okay, well, what do you want? Mmm. How about we go with a cheeseburger? Ooh, a cheeseburger hey, ear. Good choice. Well, which one do you want? Take a good hard look. What you got, what you got? How about an impossible cheese? I'm slowly burger? doing it. Uh, okay, Bite yeah, his ear. Uh, impossible burger. I got you. I'll, I'll go put that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Holyfield, here's your cheeseburger ear and your complimentary fries. All right, calm down, nigga. That's a lot of ear jokes. Right. <laughs> exactly. Jeez. Just take a bite like Mike Tyson. Whatever. Are, are you gonna watch me eat? Um, do you mind if I take a bite? They don't really feed us here. 
Uh, my burger? Y yeah, C can we like do it close to your face though? Like maybe we like Lady and the Trampet? <sighs> Whatever, man. Right <laughs> 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 yeah! yeah! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? An Applebee's waiter has bitten off Evander Holyfield's other ear while eating dinner. He actually did it. <laughs> what? Yeah! You still have it in your mouth! I don't know, I just. <laughs> I thought it was cool. <laughs> okay, well that's like Mike Tyson. That's disgusting. Well, you finally got it. Are you happy? No, because it's still not the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Well, how but would anyone know? You're right. Nobody would know. I could just say this is the ear Mike Tyson bit off. But I don't have a certificate of ear authenticity. <laughs> oh, my, my, my ear. Oh. That's hey, guys, it. It's Logan. Well, that was a short one. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the video, y'all. That's crazy. That whole video was about him just trying to find uh, the dude that bit off my Tyson's ear. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all join S tier by liking and subscribing. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I just recorded Spooky Series Sunday, so it's going to be on, out on Sunday. Y'all make sure y'all look out.